What's going on guys? Bangle Actually, it's Mantis. Mantis Toboggan. MD. Coming back at you with another video. Today we're doing more 49ers franchise as Jimmy Garoppolo has gotten hold of these San Francisco 49ers and we are really bringing the pain to other teams and some late game finishes that you guys definitely want to check out if you have not already. Carlos Hyde is an impending free agent. We're not going to talk to him just yet. We don't really know what we want to do with the running back position just yet. But we do have the Arizona Cardinals on the schedule at home at Levi Stadium. And I am ready to get into this and see what we can do. Here is the kickoff from Robbie Gold. Eight minutes on the clock here. And wow, Levi Stadium looks really, really good. I don't recall the last time we played at home in a... Well, I guess it's not San Francisco. It is, of course, Santa Clara. You know, your geography. That's uh, southeast of San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. But uh, here we go. Navarro Bowman still on the squad. It's a very different looking 49ers team from what you might see in real life as things change over the course of the season. But we're going for the football early. Can't get it. Also, might have the cat make an appearance for this video. Her name is Magic, and she is magical. As is our play calling will result in much success as once again the flats are attacked david johnson takes a monster hit holds on to the football though oh that's going wide open down the middle eric reed is exposed in coverage as carson palmer's gonna start of the day three for three 72 yard I'm, I'm talking here i don't know if you guys can hear that the cat's very vocal she wants she wants to cut of the action I'm not sure I'm ready to give it. Here's a run. Get in there. How does David Johnson keep bouncing off tackles there? He's bouncing off the inside of his own tackles and guards and offensive linemen. Finds the end zone. It looks like the Cardinals are going to take an early 7-0 lead here after burning nearly two minutes of game clock. If you guys care to see some hot black pussy, here she is. Nice looking fella. It's a girl. She's, she can be a real bitch even though she's a cat. Know what I mean? All right, what are we doing here? Play action from Jimmy G. Looking for an open receiver. Oh, I want to throw to X. Let's play make her something upfield. And Jimmy G takes a monster hit. Because I have, I, I have you know, too much patience, I guess, is, is what you'd attribute to that mistake. Man, look at that killer offensive line core. Striking fear into high school defensive lines across the nation. Right, here we go. Still throwing on second and ten. Have yet to utilize Carlos Hyde. But we might run here with Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to make that throw on the run. Jimmy G places it in perfectly to Pierre Garçon. He's going to break a tackle. Stay in bounds. 37 yards on the pickup. Matt Breed is going to check in the game here on second and nine after one carry. Carlos Hyde is absolutely winded. Matt Breed a breaking tackle though. Who is this? I know who it is, but you know, he's, yeah, whatever. You know, I was considering the prospect of actually going after a running back in the offseason for Carlos Hyde, but it looks like Matt Breida could end up being that guy. Carlos Hyde hasn't had a terrible season. We're going to make that throw, though. Jimmy Garoppolo! And, uh, yeah, he was throwing for somebody in the stands. Gronk is not on the team anymore, even if he's at the game. Fourth and inches from the 30. We're going to settle for the field goal. Straight through the uprights. Down by four, Robbie Gold. Peak performance here in San Francisco. It would be nice if we could get some pressure on the quarterback. I'll tell you that much. Because Carson Palmer needs to get out for the season in this game. And he's going to go over the middle. Target my zone. It's Jerron Brown. Four for four, 89 yards so far. Maybe I need to get off the user. I'm trying to bait, and it's you can't bait the CPU that well. It's harder. Is Carson Palmer going to take off? How are we allowing this? Kill him. How is he not fumbling the ball? It's Carson Palmer. We, for the most part, have contained David Johnson. But it's been the electric arm of 42-year-old Carson Palmer. Is that the oldest age I could come up with? Okay, he's like he's like 36. But still. Oh my god, Ruben, get there. Good tackle, limiting David Johnson to three yards. Three yards per carry, in theory, will get you a first down. But... I'm fine with, you know, containing a top-tier running back to three yards per carry. And he's not even averaging that as a, he's going to be out of the game. Andre Ellington checks in on third and nine. We're going to use it with Ruben Foster here. Throw the ball. 
He's going to throw to the flat. Tank Carradine's there. Wraps up. Six-yard gain as Carson Palmer is still perfect on the day. But we're going to force Arizona to take a field goal. Might have to start throwing the ball somewhere. That has been fairly effective um, as we're looking for someone. We're going to go down the middle. Make the play. George Kittle, did he hold on? He did. First down. That's been something I haven't said like the entire year. George Kittle has been terrible. Threw that ball a little late, but it worked. So, I mean, you can't really fault it. I mean, oh, why was open? Went short, though. Trent Taylor. Oh, my goodness. Trent Taylor. There we go. Underneath Marquise Goodwin. First down as we're cooking a little bit here. Looking to tie up this ball game before half. Just systematically marching down the field here. As Trent Taylor is open, we need to go somewhere with the football here. Jimmy Garoppolo. Is that Michael Vick? Is that Lamar Jackson? Is that Steve Young? No, I, I've i named two lefties and, a, and two black guys. And it didn't fit for Jimmy Garoppolo. He's neither... All right, play action, Jimmy G. We're going to roll out. Throwing on the run. All right, he really is not Lamar Jackson or Steve Young with that throw. Well, maybe he's Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Got him. Third and three. Carlos Hyde is going to get the handoff, and there's room up the middle. Boom! Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde is a wrecking ball. Down inside the five. Three rushes for 20 yards, and that was easily his best one of the day. As he is trying to get inside his ear, it looks like. I don't know what he would have had in there. I'm not sure why that was necessary to point out. But he did. Looks like that hit may have busted some earwax loose. I'm playing a little bit of Sherlock Holmes here. We have room to run. It's Jimmy G! Jimmy Garoppolo. Touchdown on the ground. And he is as hyped as anyone. And we are going to tie up the ball game here, provided I can kick the extra point, and I do. 10-10. Four minutes to play. Make the play. Ruben Foster. There's the hit stick. David Johnson, six rushes for nine yards. Does have a touchdown, though. But, uh, you know, 69 is not exactly what you're looking for in this particular scenario. Carson Palmer, still perfect on the day. Third and seven. Get on the defensive line. Make some plays happen. Solomon Thomas, what are you doing? Fumble ball loose with Ruben Foster who forces it. And look at Ray Ray Armstrong with the recovery. I love it. All right, this, something should be open here. And that is the perfect read. It's Aldrich Robinson, first down. Perfect touch pass from Jimmy Garoppolo there. I might go deep here to George Kittle. George Kittle downfield, and that's going to be picked off by Tyvon Branch. Uh, not a great way to end the half. Can someone bring, bang, bring down Tyvon Branch? Thank you. All right, we definitely had a shot at points there. Thought I had George Kittle over the top. Clearly, I did not. We easily could have taken points and then got the ball back at half and then put up more points and extended that lead. Didn't really think about that, though. Let's go ahead and streak Pierre Garçon. I'm not confident he can beat press, but if he does, it could be huge yardage. He doesn't at all. I need more time. I need more time. Someone get open. I'm going to throw that. Lobbing it up over the head of Dale Buchanan. George Kittle dropped the ball. What are you doing? Why do I have you on the field? Go play fucking defense. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, David Johnson just juked the hell out of somebody. That's frustrating. Eric Reed's not going to have the closing speed. Neither is Jimmy Ward. And uh, it's going to be a 17-10 Cardinal lead pending the extra point. Yep. And that could have gone better. Uh, yeah, they scored really quickly. And I guess spin moves just don't work with some players. He's got zero spin move because I tried one and he just did. Like, that's not a spin move. That's, that's you breaking down. I, I want to spin. Play action to Carlos Hyde. They don't bite at all. I, the flat's wide open. I'm just going to throw to it. It's George Kittle. Surprise, surprise. He catches the ball. I tried for a monster truck there. Monster truck. Okay. We start calling George Kittle the Grave Digger. I don't know if any of you guys are avid monster truck fans, but that's a, that's a, a truck, I guess. Carlos Hyde. Oh, there's some good blocks there. Decent run. We might have to go deep here. We have some speed out here on the field with Marquise Goodwin in the slot. I think he's burned him over the top. Marquise Goodwin, that's tipped up and nearly intercepted by Tyvon Branch. How is Marquise Goodwin not outrunning Carlos Dansby? No, I'm serious on this one. Carlos Dansby has 80 speed. Okay. What's his zone coverage before we go? What's his zone coverage? 
because that could play a factor at 83 acceleration. And his zone coverage is, let's see, um, 66. Man coverage is a 55. Let's go to the 49ers. Let's check in on a little guy named Marquise Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin has 95 speed. What's his route running? 73. It's not great. How does Marquise Goodwin not torch 66 zone, 80 speed Carlos Dansby on pretty much a go route? How does Carlos Dansby cover it that well? Another pretty good punt, and I couldn't get there with the Killer Witherspoon. It's going to take a favorable bounce, though. Down at the one. In my opinion, that was a solid punt. No, David Johnson, how is that possible? There's no point in even trying. We'll watch this show. Ninety-five yards to the house for David Johnson as he makes one man miss and uh runs ninety-five yards in the end zone for the touchdown. Twenty-four ten. We like a good comeback, though. Carlos Hyde, please make somebody miss. That works. I mean, that's, what, four yards? It's not exactly going to win us the game. We need to get back in this quickly. I mean, we're 5-3. and three. We're not exactly tanking for the draft pick anymore. We've got a real shot at the playoffs. I think we're winning. I, oh, my God. I was trying to wait for Trent Taylor's route to develop. Quentin Copel is going to bring out... The, pressure get the sack bring up third and 14 what i'm saying is like we have a real shot at winning the division i think we're in first place right now at five and three i don't know what the seahawks or the rams are doing but like this is not a great loss for us we're gonna make that throw marquis goodwin get your feet down he didn't are you serious my bench seems to think he caught the ball we're gonna go ahead and challenge that one throwing the challenge flag Give me this call. All right, I guess I had puberty. Close. There's one, one for video, sure. So obviously, Mike screwed up. Sorry. He definitely did not. It'll be fixed for next time. You know, I got to say, it looked like he did in real time. And we're going to be forced to punt the ball away. And as long as David Johnson can make a spin or juke move, he is definitely going to score a touchdown again. Because we have no speed in the secondary. No speed, really, in the second level of our defense at linebacker, except for Roden Foster. Lord knows Navarro Bowman doesn't have it. Ray Ray Armstrong sure as fuck doesn't. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do when a man misses. We might have to make some trades. I mean, I pretty much stayed steadfast in the belief that I do not want to make a lot of trades in this series, as I, I don't think I've even made one. But, like, Eric Armstead doesn't do much for this team, as I can't even get off a block there. We need more speed. We need more playmakers in the secondary. The defensive line is fine. We don't need Eric Armstead, potentially. Like, we got Solomon Thomas. We got DeForest Buckner. Elvis Doomerville's super old. This is not... We're not in a great spot for the future. So, winning does help us. But I still want to win. Er, 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 er. <laughs> Eric Armstead gets tripped up in the backfield. Can't make the tackle. Solomon Thomas, thankfully, is there. DeForest Buckner, I gotta say, has also been kind of a non-factor. I find it incredibly difficult to shed blocks in the backfield. Or with the offensive lineman. I'm not sure why. I just can't do it. I think the button's A, but they just don't do it. So, like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do when they don't shed blocks in franchise for whatever reason. Because I'm trying my very best, and he doesn't do it. There he does it. DeForest Buckner destroys David Johnson. I should call him Destroyus Buckner. <laughs> and again... Saying perfect on the day is Carson Palmer. 12 for 12, 232 yards. As we've allowed 370 yards. Not great, I gotta say. We also, we get no pressure. Like, none. There are no sacks in this series. And David Johnson gets the ball. He's just gonna play pinball wizard like a fucking Who song. And uh, 15 rushes for 136 yards and 9 touchdowns out of nowhere. He had like, what, 10 rushes for 8 yards at one point? How does he now have this stat line? It's ridiculous. All I want is either 
an incomplete pass or some amount of pressure on Carson Palmer because we just I, no one gets any pressure. We just we just don't look, look at Andre Ellington's slow ass. Still, no one no one touches him for five yards, and then he gets tackled. He falls, he flips forward, like he's in fucking Cirque du Soleil for another yard. But I can't get any pressure. He's just red after red after red attempt when I try to get through the US offensive lineman, and they don't get any organic block sheds. That's for damn sure. I don't know if I, I got to change the setting because we have literally we get no pressure, and we have a defensive line that should be able to create at least a little bit of pressure. It's not there. Finally, pressure. It's Eric Armstead of all players with the sack here in the fourth quarter. It was like more like Cirque to so lame the flip earlier, and then like finally, one of these clowns makes a play. Pressure finally. Ray, Ray, okay, John Brown just steps out of bounds. He didn't want that up 14. That's is he talking shit now? You just stepped out of bounds like three yards before you had to. Stop being a pussy. I mean, granted, I wouldn't take the hit, but I'm also not an NFL player. I'll go Solomon Thomas. As to the flat again, it's Geron No, it's John Brown. As Carson Palmer stays perfect. Doesn't matter if he's passing for one yard uh, on back-to-back -back attempts, pretty much. He wants to stay perfect, which is, you know, admirable, I suppose. But what does it mean? Bottom line, at the end of the day, I'm not sure that we're winning this game. I think I think that's safe to say at this point. We're down 17 with 420 to play. Uh, there are jokes to be made there. I'm not even going to bother. Let's try to put some points up on the board at least. Make this competitive. There's Pierre Garçon. Jimmy Garoppolo. The grass is not on our team. You don't get yardage for throwing the ball to wherever you throw it to. You, I need you to complete that pass. All right, we need 26 yards for the first down. It's obviously four down territory, I think. So we don't need it all at once. But Jimmy Garoppolo, we're running. Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to go for the... Wow. Ah, uh, that interesting call on the field. Ah, uh, I can't wait to see the blocking on that one when I go back and check the replay. Oh, let's watch. Let's watch Zane Beatles here. Corey Peters lines up over the center as the nose. And, um... Basically, he's pretty much getting double teamed until Zane Beatles and Daniel Kilgore both decide who gives a fuck about blocking him. Look at Zane Beatles laying out who even is 93 on this team. It's Quentin Popels. Lays him out. Guess what? You allow the sack! Just stay blocking for any amount of time. I have nothing over here. I'm going to have to run. Jimmy Garoppolo, you're probably going to fumble. He doesn't. I try to get out of bounds. Five rushes, 49 yards, and a touchdown for Jimmy Garoppolo. That somehow has been my offense. Or lack thereof. we got a minute to play. We're playing for pride at this point. We're in the hurry-up offense. And that was open in the flat, but doesn't give me enough. I'll throw that ball on the run for Marquise Goodwin. And that is your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the show. That's a bow. If you didn't know, it's not a dab. It's a bow. Yes.
It looks like it did that on camera. It's not. I, I, I will not. Three, two, one. That is our ball game. Not a fantastic performance as we flatline. Literally, our team died on the fucking field. If there was a player who died on the field that I knew about right now, I'd make a terribly insensitive joke. But I'll leave you guys to Google that one if there is a situation. Not sure that there is. We didn't play a great game. That's that's the reality. We did not play a great game. We're gonna fall to five and four. Currently still at the top of the NFC West as it is right now. Moving on to play my favorite team, the New York Giants, in week ten. Should be a good one, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna change around the settings a bit. I'm gonna go up to uh all Madden. I think, which, uh, uh, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna change some stuff. Take it easy, I should say.